Gonda or Gonda is a city in separate Wirida in Ethiopia. Located in the semi-Ngonda zone of the Amhara region, Gonda is north of Tana Lake on the Lesser Angab River and southwest of the Semen Mountains. It has a latitude and longitude of 12 a degree 36 a euro squared and 37 a degree 28 a euro squared e with an elevation of 2133 meters above sea level. It is surrounded by the Gonda Zirio Wirida. Gonda previously served as the capital of both the Ethiopian Empire and the subsequent Bejmta province. The city holds the remains of several royal castles, including those in Fazilgebi, for which Gonda has been called the Camelot of Africa. History Until the 16th century, the Solomonic emperors of Ethiopia usually had no fixed capital town, instead living in tents in temporary royal camps as they moved around their realms while their family, bodyguard and retinue devoured surplus crops and cut down nearby trees for firewood. One exception to this rule was Deborah Beren, founded by Zara Yakob in 1456. Tagilat in Shoa was also essentially the capital during the first century of Solomonic rule. Beginning with Emperor Menes in 1559, the rulers of Ethiopia began spending the rainy season near Lake Tana, often returning to the same location each year. These encampments, which flourished as cities for a short time, include Emperors, Aba, Gagora, and Dankas. Gonda was founded by Emperor Fazilides around the year 1635 and grew as an agricultural and market town. There was a superstition at the time that the capital's name should begin with the letter G, which also contributed to Gagora's growth in the centuries after 1600. Tradition also states that a buffalo led the emperor Fazilides to a pool beside of the Angab, where an old and venerable hermit told the emperor he would locate his capital there. Fazilides had the pool filled in and built his castle on that same site. The emperor also built a total of seven churches. The first two, Fit Michael and Fit Abo, were built to end local epidemics. The five emperors who followed him also built their palaces in the town. In 1668, as a result of a church council, the emperor Eurans I ruled that the inhabitants of Gonda are to be segregated by religion. This caused the Muslims to move into their own quarter, Islam Jor Islam Bet, within two years. This quarter came to be known as Addis Alam. During the 17th century, the city's population is estimated to have exceeded 60,000. Many of the buildings from this period survive, despite the turmoil of the 18th century. By the reign of Iyasu the Great, Gonda had acquired a sense of community identity. When the emperor called upon the inhabitants to decamp and follow him on his campaign against the Oromo in Damot and Gojam, as had the court and subjects of earlier emperors, they refused. Although Gonda was by any definition a city, it was not a melting pot of diverse traditions, nor Ethiopia's window to the larger world, according to Donald Levine. It served rather as an agent for the quickened development of the Amhara's own culture. And thus it became a focus of national pride. Not as a hotbed of alien custom and immorality, as they often regard Addis Ababa today but as the most perfect embodiment of their traditional values. As Levine elaborates in a footnote, it was an orthogenetic pattern of development, as distinguished from an heterogenetic one. The town served as Ethiopia's capital until Twedros II moved the imperial capital to Magadala upon being crowned emperor in 1855. The city was plundered and burnt in 1864, then devastated again in December, 1866. Abdullahi ibn Muhammad sacked Gonda when he invaded Ethiopia June 1887. Gonda was ravaged again in January 23rd in the next year, when the Sudanese invaders set fire to almost every one of the city's churches. After the conquest of Ethiopia by the Kingdom of Italy in 1936, Gonda was further developed under Italian occupation. During the Second World War, Italian forces made their last stand in Gonda in November 1941 after Addis Ababa fell to British forces six months before. The area of Gonda was one of the main centres of activity of Italian guerrilla against the British forces until summer 1943. During the Ethiopian Civil War, the forces of the Ethiopian Democratic Union gained control of large parts of Bejmda, and during parts of 1977 operated within a few miles of Gonda, and appeared to be at the point of capturing the city. 
as part of Operation Tuadros near the end of the Civil War, Gonda was captured by the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front in March 1991. Points of interest Gonda traditionally was divided into several neighborhoods or quarters, Addis Alam, where the Muslim inhabitants dwelled. Kalamida, where the adherents of Beta Israel lived. Abun Bet, centered on the residence of the Abuna, or nominal head of the Ethiopian church. And Khan Bet, home to the nobility. Gonda is also a noted center of ecclesiastical learning of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church, and known for having 44 churches a euro for many years more than any other settlement in Ethiopia. Gonda and its surrounding countryside constitute the homeland of most Ethiopian Jews. The modern city of Gonda is popular as a tourist destination for its many picturesque ruins in Fazilgebi, from which the emperors once reigned. The most famous buildings in the city lie in the royal enclosure, which include Fazilides Castle, Iyazu's Palace, Dewitz Hall, a banqueting hall, stables, Empress Mentuab's Castle, a chancellery, library and three churches. Near the city lie Fazilides Bath, home to an annual ceremony where it is blessed and then open for bathing. The Qusquim Complex, built by Empress Mentuab. The 18th century Ras Michael Sills Palace in the Deborah Baron Selassie Church. Downtown Gonda shows the influence of the Italian occupation of the late 1930s. The main piazza features shops, a cinema, and other public buildings in a simplified Italian modern style still distinctively of the period despite later changes and, frequently, neglect. Villas and flats in the nearby quarter that once housed occupation officials and colonists are also of interest. The town is home to the University of Gonda, which includes Ethiopia's main faculty of medicine. Demographics Based on the 2007 national census conducted by the Central Statistical Agency of Ethiopia, Gonda had a total population of 207,044, of whom 98,120 were men and 108,924 women. The majority of the inhabitants practiced Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, with 84.2% reporting that as their religion while 11.8% of the population said they were Muslim and 1.1% were Protestant. The 1994 National Census reported a total population of 112,249 in 21,695 households, of whom 51,366 were men and 60,883 women. The three largest ethnic groups reported in Gonda Zaria were the Amhara, the Tigrayan, and the Kemant. All other ethnic groups made up 1.98% of the population. Amharic was spoken as a first language by 94.57%, and 4.67% spoke Tigranaya. The remaining 0.76% spoke all other primary languages reported. 83.31% adhered to Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity, and 15.83% of the population said they were Muslim. There are now also a sizable number of Ethiopian Jews, some of whom live in temporary camps, hoping to emigrate to Israel. Transport Air transport is served by Gonda Airport, also known as Atz Tuadros Airport, after the Emperor of Ethiopia Tuadros. It is 18 kilometers south of the city. Travel within Gonda is mostly done by minibuses and three-wheeler motorcycles. Intercity bus service is provided by the Selim Bus Line Share Company. Climate, Car Paragraph PPEN Geiger Climate Classification System classifies its climate as humid subtropical, bordering with subtropical highland. Sister City, as designated by Sister Cities International, Gonda is a sister city with, Cavalis, Oregon, United States, Montgomery County, Maryland, Rishon Lezion, Israel. See also, List of Gondoran Churches, Gultush a deserted village near Gonda. References External links, Ethiopian treasures, Fazilados Castle, Flasher Village, Gonda, pictures from Gonda.